I'm happy for you, man. You're about to be daddy to number four. This is number, number four. four. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So are we still on baby watch or has it happened? You just haven't said anything yet? <laughs> no, no, no. We're still on baby watch. And if it happens while I'm on the road and my wife is at home, I'm in big trouble. So I was wondering, let's I was just going to ask you that. Let's like, just let's... keep all going the right way. <laughs> what does she do? Are you saying? Uh, no, she's uh, in a couple weeks, literally a couple okay. weeks. Oh my God. Oh, that's going to be. I, actually, I stopped the tour for a, for a break of nine days so that I could go home and, and, you know, be there. So. Everything set. Do you have your, is the hospital bag packed? It had, hospital bag is packed. Okay. And you, you guys are like pros of this now. So uh, what do you have packed that you kind of like learned over the years to, to bring to the delivery room? I have a heating pad for her. Okay. Uh, good yeah. idea. Yeah. I have a tooth, all the stuff, toothbrush and yeah, iPads, all the basics. You know, iPads and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, no, that's, that's, you know what? I'm, uh, we're so excited, you know? Oh my God. Yeah. So can't wait to meet her. And meantime, you're going out on this tour. Fantastic. The higher tour. Tell me all about it. What are we going to, what are we going to be seeing? You know, I've, this is, I've now been so lucky to work all over the world and, and play America. And I think during the hiatus of, of having this pandemic that we were all going through, it gave me a lot of time to reflect and to, to daydream and to make sure that I wanted something new. I mean, yeah. when I say that I wanted, so for people that have seen me a few times, I wanted to make sure that they can come and see me in a way they've never seen me before. Mm -hmm. And so I worked really hard at uh, creatively making something that was just so unique and so special. I mean, I, I learned to play the guitar. I mean, I hired, I hired the greatest production team uh, and I just put a lot of love and thought into making sure that this is a cinematic a beauty. It's a lot of fun for me to <laughs> add those elements. And so okay. that when people come and realize Oh my God, this is a massive, explosive rock show that is still sophisticated and, and musically uh, absolutely genius. So America's a big one for me. America's a big one. It was, you know, they're always the greatest audiences and they're always loud and really supportive. And uh, yeah. I'm so pumped to start here. To be out on tour again after the, you know, hellish last couple of years we've had. Totally. You know, we were not meant to be on Zooms. We were, meant, right. we we're not meant to pray alone and eat alone and dance yeah. alone. We we're meant to be together. So um, I'm completely grateful that I can be a part of getting this world, you know, back on track, yeah. getting my own self, my own world, my own mental health back on track. You know what? And it's, if it's your buttery voice that gets us back together again, then so be it. That's what I say. Yeah. And a little confetti and a little pyro. Confetti. A little yeah. We'll take that too. Big band that rips the place apart. Right. Yeah, something like I just walked out and saw the set for the first time about half an hour ago. And oh, what you think? this thing is, oh my God, I'm going to make no money, but Hey, <laughs> who cares about money? I just couldn't, I just like literally put everything I had into it. And, uh, and that's what it was for. It was to invest in myself. I also know that your son, uh, is kind of, kind of picking up what you have in a, in a way. Uh, he's a little musician. And I saw that little video that you, that you posted, where you got a little choked up when he was playing the piano. Um, what's that like for you when you hear him, him, his talents come through? Well, I got more choked up because my wife was holding the phone and she was bawling. Oh, she was so bawling. She was bawling. And I think she was like trying not to shake the phone. So, um, you know what? I think uh, all my kids love music the same way I did. You, know, you and I were just sort of talking about that passion. And uh, I think it means more to me that my kids have found a deep love for this, for, for music, because I think it is a relationship that is so unique and deep and beautiful and rich, and uh, it'll never let you down. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.